What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Broken Rebel Tea Time and we're going to do another talk with Tea Time right about now. Innocent people killed, not a sign of a human. So what's up everybody? It's your boy Broken Rebel Tea Time and yes today I well, tonight, uh, it is 11 at night that I'm recording this. Um, I have my Chucky doll. And the reason why I have my Chucky doll as well, I want to talk about the new series, Chucky. That is on USA Network and, of course, Sci-Fi. Now, Chucky uh, franchise has been one of my favorites of all time. Uh, from Child Play to Child Play 2, Child Play 3, Bride of Chucky, uh, Seed of Chucky, Cult of Chucky, and a, uh, Curse of Chucky and Cult of Chucky. I had to get it all in order. Now, I did not watch... I did not watch uh, the remake of Chucky. And the reason why I did not watch the remake... Um, of child play is because, well, Brad Dueff, uh, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing his last name right, um, but Brad was not going to be, be the voice of Chucky, um, Charles Lee Way. Um, so I did not, um, pay money to go see the child play, uh, remake. I've heard a lot of bad things about it. Some people said it was good. Most people said it was awful because of the way they made Chucky as a cyborg. Um, now, me growing up as, you know, I was a young child growing up watching Chucky. Um... And I've always known him to be a killer doll, like a ser serial killer doll with a knife and, you know, all, all of that good stuff. And, you know, Charles Lee Way um, got turned into a doll. I'm, you know what, I was so happy with um, Curse of Chucky. Yeah, Curse of Chucky. That was my very most favorite movie out of all the Chucky's uh, movies. Is Curse of Chucky. Um, and I'll tell you why. Okay, because Curse of Chucky has explained every single thing from every single detail of how Chucky... How Charles Lee Way turned into the doll and the reason behind of it. Um, I know they talked briefly um, about it in, in uh, Child Play 1 on how Charles Lee Way turned into a doll. But in, in Curse of Chucky, we got to see um, what caused, like, the purpose, who, who, why he was getting um killed you know why he was being the victim of a murder you know why he was murdering people um so curse of chucky had really explained the entire the entire re reason for charlie way being in chucky now let's talk about the tv show TV series. TV series is um, obviously called Chucky. Uh, creator Don um, wrote and directed and created the show Chucky. It's amazing. Don, I mean, again, it's the reason why I did not watch the remake of Chucky is because Don did not do the remake of Chucky. Okay, I've always been a fan of the original Chucky. Um, if Don is not doing Chucky, 
or if Brad's not doing Chucky, if, if Jennifer Tilly is not being, um, um, uh, a tiff. But Jennifer wasn't part of Child Play, uh, the first one. But I'm just saying, like, if they ever do a remake of Bride of Chucky, and if Jennifer Tilly is not in it, I'm not, I'm not watching it. Uh, no. Um, if, um, Alex Vincent, who, uh, of course he was little, he, of course he can't play, um, the little boy anymore. But I'm just saying if Alex Vincent, um, wasn't in the remake of Child Play, I'm not gonna watch it. Simple as that. Um, but, of course, Alex Vincent couldn't play Andy in the remakes of, um, Child Play, because Alex is a grown man now. Um, so he couldn't play, um, the child character of Andy, because, he, well, I mean, he, he's going to, um, reprise his, uh, reprise his role as Andy in the Chucky series. Um, but, yeah, yeah, we couldn't, they couldn't, uh, cast, um, Alex as Andy in the, the remake. That would, that would kind of be weird, I think, yeah. Or, 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 um, they could have cast, uh, no, um, so, yeah. So they have wonderful, wonderful new cast um, for the Chucky series. Um, so far, I'm love. I love uh, episode one and episode two. Can't wait for episode three to come out next Tuesday. Uh, so if you guys are a Chucky fan like I am, um, tune in to USA on Tuesday. On Tuesday, when uh, the brand new episode of Chucky comes out. Every, uh, every Tuesdays, which is pretty awesome. Pretty cool. Um, let's see. So, I don't know if you guys ever noticed, um, about the Chucky franchise, okay? I've noticed it, um, I noticed it, um, a couple weeks ago when I was re-watching the movies because I was preparing um, for the series that I was preparing to watch the Chucky series and I noticed something you know I noticed something that is awesome about the Chucky franchise even the TV series Chucky that they cater to the LGBTQ plus community and this is the most amazing thing that Don um, have ever done in his Chucky's franchise series, movies, TV show. You know, um, I think I noticed it. I noticed um, during Bride of Chucky. Is when I first noticed. Now it probably wasn't um, um, Child Play three and Child Play two um, when they did the LGBT um, scenes or whatever when they mentioned it. Um, I just didn't re recognize it. I just didn't see it, you know. But I noticed it. Um, during Bride of Chucky, I noticed it in Seed of Chucky. I noticed it in um, Curse of Chucky, and of course, I've noticed it in Cult of Chucky. Now, the season um, premiere uh, last Wednesday, I uh, no last Tuesday, I'm sorry, um, on the USA Network of Chucky, and I noticed. Uh, I think there's two characters, two characters that could be 
possibly um, being gay um, in the Chucky series. Now, I'm not sure if the actors are gay in real life. Um, maybe just the characters are gay. Um, and that's fine. That's cool. No, I, I'm excited to see where things go um, with the characters. So here's my review for um, episode one. Of course, we seen, um, I think his, his name uh, Zach, right? Zach, um, dad, had passed away um, due to Chucky, of course. Uh, Zach was um, an alcoholic. I can I can relate to that. Um, he is also a homophobic. Also, I can relate to that. Um, but anyway, Chucky uh, was downstairs in the in the uh, basement, and of course, Chucky fried um, Zach's dad. Um, like electrified him and uh, of course he died so that's what happened to Zach a lot, a lot of people was teasing uh, Zach because um, of course Zach was bringing Chucky to school um, you know they had a school um, I think that's they um, had Zach put um chucky like a uh i don't know how to say like like what is a vent vented trip i don't know how to say the word but um you know how they have the um the puppet right here and they they make it talk or something like that um i don't know how to say you guys can um put it in the comments what it is i i don't know how to pronounce the word um but i know they call it a dummy um, but I don't like to call it that, but I like to call it by what it actually is. But since I don't know the word, you guys can, um, say what it is. Um, but Zach was doing that, and of course, Chucky was actually talking. It wasn't Zach, it was actually Chucky that was talking. Um, and Chucky was saying all this stuff that I was like busting and blasting because Chucky <laughs> um to see Chucky and to hear Chucky say all this stuff is is quite hilarious, you know. Um so then we go to the final scene, the last scene of season one. I mean of episode one. Sorry, of Chucky and uh that's when Chucky finally introduced himself to Zack in a funny way. Um, so we all remember, like we all know Chucky says, Hi, I'm Chucky. And I'll be your friend to the end. Hi, de ho. Ha, ha, ha. Well, this thing, <laughs> this doll, Chucky goes, I'm Chucky, and I'll be your friend to the end. Heidi effin ho, ha ha ha, is what Chucky says. You know, I can I can already tell you that this show is going to be the most hilarious horror show ever. And the reason why I can sense that because some of the Chucky movies are extremely hilarious. Bride of Chucky was the most hilarious movie ever. I I can't tell you how much I can go back and watch that and have a good laugh at that because everybody did extremely well and the comic the comedy was on point on everything it was it was on point when it needs to be 
Now go on to the uh, second episode of Chucky. Now the second episode of um, Chucky was very awesome. It was very... I'm going to put this knife on Chucky hand because it's... So, let me... Before I get to that, I had a um, knife in Chucky hand. Um, this is not the original knife. Um, that Chucky had. So, what happened to my original knife that Chucky had, that came with it, my cousin, um, came over and broke the knife. Yeah, so I had to buy another, um, a fake butcher knife, uh, to put, um, with Chucky. Because my cousin broke it. Yeah. Okay, so second episode of Chucky. Yes. Um, there is a scene where our friend Chucky was wearing a Hello Kitty mask. And of course, Chucky, dis I think Chucky was thinking like he was Cinderella or something. Um, not Cinderella, something from Snow White. The You know how, um, was it? Was it uh, the godmother, the gra grandmother? What, what was Snow White's, um, the elderly lady that gave um, Snow White the poison apple? And you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Uh, so Chucky decides to give this <laughs> this lady an apple. And of course the, the lady ate it. And yeah. I, I I don't know if um uh, Chucky been watching Snow White or what, but but um Chucky um definitely gave the apple to this lady, and the lady started bleeding from the mouth. Like, wow. Um. So in this episode, there was of course another death. A uh, junior. Uh, Junior is, uh, Zach's cousin. Yeah, Zach's cousin. Of course, uh, Junior and Zach's were, um, devastated from, from the killing of their dad in the first, of Zach's dad in the first episode. In the second episode, Junior's, um, mother dies in the second episode. Junior, um, and Zach don't really get along. Um, I, I don't, I don't really get a, I don't really get a good vibe from them, is what I'm trying to say. You know, I don't get, like, a very good family vibe from Zach and from, um, from Zach and, and Junior, you know, Junior is like this cool dude that, you know, wants to hang with the popular people and of course, uh, his, his girlfriend Lexi, um, Lexi is one of the most popular girls in high school. Um, who just, you know, just like to, um, just make things revolve around her, you know, um, because she doesn't get any attention at home from her parents. So, you know, she goes out at school and she, um, she gets attention from people at school, you know, she, she... Like, I, 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 I don't know. I, I never been a popular, um, guy at my school, so I don't really know, um, know the popularity status in schools or stuff. You know, I, I, when I was in school, I was hanging out with, um punkers and gothics and emo people that's what i was that's who i was hanging out with 
But yeah, guys, um, uh, yeah, so, at the end of the episode, at the end of the episode, I think, I think, Zach, says, I think his name is Zach. If I'm saying his name wrong, please inform me. Please get, please tell me. Um, but I think, um, Zach, um, is finally listening to Chucky. Because after you seen at the end of the episode, Chucky gave, uh, Zach the knife. Okay. Now, I'm... We seen Chucky behind Lexi, and of course Chucky wanted to kill Lexi. Of course he couldn't because Lexi left the room, so we couldn't get. We did not get a second killing in that second episode. Will we get a killing from Lexi? Um, only time will tell. Um, personally, I. Don't like the Lexi character, um, but I do like the actress. Everybody is doing such a wonderful job as the character that they're playing. Like, I have to say, everybody is doing good, including Brad, that is Chucky. Brad is like, I've always loved Brad since the Child Play 1 movie. I've been a huge fan of Chad since Ch um, since Child Play 1, the original Child Play. And when I've heard that Brad was going to be reprising his role as Chucky, I was so excited. You know, I was so very, very excited because Chucky, um, because Brad is one of my favorites. Um, that I grew up on watching Chucky, okay? He was like the most entertaining, hilarious dude ever. Um, and I'm so glad to know that he is um, reprising his role as Chucky, being the original voice of Chucky. Um, Will his wife, Fiona, um, be reprising her role? I hope his wife, Fiona, comes back to the franchise, to the Chucky franchise. I really do, because that would be amazing. That would be awesome to see, um, Annika, An Annika, 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 however you say her name. Um, it would be awesome to see her. And Charles Lee Way, Chucky, um, in a scene together. And again, since Cult of Chucky and since Curse of Chucky. So that would be awesome to see. And of course, we did hear that Alex Vincent, who plays Andy from Child Play 1, Child Play 2. Child Play, um, no, not Child Play 3. Because Alex wasn't in Child Play 3. He was at the end of Child Play 3, wasn't he? Wasn't he at the end of Child Play 3? I think he was. I, I think he was. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, but then we saw um, Alex in A Seed of Chucky. Okay, you saw Alex again with the whole beard, mustache, grown up. Um, we saw a grown up um, Andy um, instead of Chucky. So we will see um, Alex again in the in the series. And uh, let me know if you guys thought think that was Andy that called. Um, Zach in the first episode. That's a good, that's a good theory. Um, because, you know, this dude, this person that called Zach 
knew exactly um, all about Chucky. Now, I don't know if you guys remember on the first episode, but he said to check Chucky's um, batteries to see if there's any batteries inside of the doll. Zach, look, there's no batteries. So the question is, it was that Andy that called Zach? I'm thinking it was. And like I said, Andy is going to be coming um, to the show. Andy will be making his appearance on the show. And I cannot wait to see uh, what they will have Alex, Vincent, Andy do um, in, this, in the TV series. Um, but yeah, um, this is, well, I have the Chucky, uh, seven, all seven Chucky movies, and of course it has Child Play, Child Play 2, Child Play 3, Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, Cult of Chucky, Kurt, why do I say Cult of Chucky before Curse of Chucky? So, Curse of Chucky and then Cult of Chucky. Chucky. Chucky, not Chucky. Um, so, yeah. If you guys are a fan of this dude, then go ahead and watch the TV series that is Chucky. Because this show is amazing. This show is starting off with a bang. I love, love Chucky so much. I grew up watching um, this killer doll killing teachers, um, babysitters, uh, killing soldiers. And see, uh, child play three. Um, let's see, killing police officers. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, um, I'm planning on getting uh, Glenn, Glenna, um. That's the transgender child of Chucky. Um, Chucky and Tiffany. And speaking of Tiffany, I will be getting uh, Tiffany as well. So I will be getting um, those two uh, to add to my um, collection. And I will be set. I will be done. Because I will have Chucky, Glenn, Glenna. Same person, same same doll, and of course Tiffany. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for talk with tea time. I have another video that I will be uploading, and of course that will be a shout out to all money in. So please check that out as well. If you guys have not done so, go check out. All Money In podcast. Uh, they will be. Uh, they just did a live video for their YouTube, and uh, of course, Don, uh, my friend, my best friend Dante, uh, just showed an Instagram uh, video of himself and uh, Travis and and um, Sable. No, not the WWE wrestler. No, stop it. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, Dante um, shared a video and, of course, pictures on his Instagram. Libra <sighs> at Libra King. You can follow him at Libra King. Um, And, uh, yeah, he was uh, sharing a picture of him and his homies uh, about to um, lay it down, lay the podcast down. Um, and uh, it, it will be on YouTube. So um, go ahead and go follow them. Go subscribe to them on YouTube. 
All Money In Podcast on YouTube. Go ahead. Watch them. Their content is hilarious. The things that they say are hilarious. Um, and like I said, I'm not saying this because I'm best friends with Dante. You know, I grew up with Dante since pre-K. You know, I, I've known him since pre-K. Um, so I know um, people might say, oh, I'm just saying it because I'm, I'm, best, I'm his best friend. No, no, no. I'm speaking the truth. I'm saying the truth um, because personally, and I did not know this, Travis, I'm a huge fat, Catfish fan. And I just re listened to the podcast earlier, Travis. So I have to watch that episode that she was in, Travis, because I did not <laughs> I did not recognize that you was on um uh catfish. You know, some some people I do recognize and some people I do have on um one of the um dude that I have on Facebook is from Catfish. Uh, the TV show. So yeah, um, but and now I have another uh, Facebook friend uh, that was on Catfish, Travis. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, all money in podcasts. Follow them, subscribe to them, uh, wherever podcasts they're. Um, on you know the social media that they're on go follow them go listen to them watch them for the first time live on YouTube I will do that as well and uh, yeah you guys have a wonderful day peace